everyone. How are you today? Hello, hello. So, my name is Kathy Mayhan, and I decided to go live today with my new pastel tones or teaser paints. And I just wanted to, I like to make a swatch mandala. Use every color in it, make it fun. So. So, so we'll give people a chance to come on. So say hello if you're here so I can see you. That seems to be working. I just gotta make sure everything's working okay. Okay. Well, there's usually a bit of lag with Facebook. But say hello if you're here. Uh, I've got my iPad open so I can watch for comments. Okay, these are my new Arteza paint parts. Tone, and I am so excited about them. Okay, I'm going to start opening it up. I'm sure there's still a bunch of people sleeping. At least on the west coast, they're just getting up. So we've got lavender purple. Mint green. These are big for 20, 120 milliliter tubes. Waterfall blue. There's a peony pink, tulip pink, apricot orange, sunrise yellow, and a cream. That's cool. Now I don't have to use white. <laughs> How exciting. I'm so excited to play with these. Check in to make sure everything's hunky dory over there. Turn this a little bit. If you don't want to see my big ass belly. Okay, that'll do it. So I'm going to go ahead and. Hello, Alpha. Hello, Asha. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. What are you doing up so early? <laughs> or so late, maybe? I'm gonna start mixing these up. Let's see if I'm right. These are heavy bodied. Put this away so I don't get paint all over it. Okay. I'm gonna use the Joe Sonia Flow Medium today. There's not much left in there. Try out some tulip pink. Oh, you know what? I bet they have. Yeah. Oh, I got a little tab on them now. Woo. Okay, that was easy. Let's see how. Oh, it comes out real nice. All right. Keep it from drying up. And this is lavender purple. I cannot wait to see what these look like. Well, the tap is very easy to pull off. It's like some of them I have had. This is heavy body. When I get the uh, like, 
I call it medium body, but the ones like that come in the two ounce craft tubes, those are, let's see, I'll put my box. Gotta make room. Those have this film on them and foil, and they're so hard to get open. Yeah, um, I have Arteza already. I have the heavy bodies. I bought the package of 36 with those little bitty tubes in it. This is more like the Liquitex bottles. These should be about as thick as your uh, regular acrylic stuff. The, the cream. Been needing some kind of off white. Let's see how these come out. Uh, so I do like the Liquitex bottles, so I'm glad that they they, they made some more teaser with these types. There is um what was I gonna say? I don't remember. I'm not really alive right now. I also don't have the right glasses on. And I seem to have lost my drink. There it is. <laughs> Okay, this is sunrise yellow. You know, it looks more like a, like a, I don't know, very light yellow. Very pale. I'm glad these are easier to go up than they usually are. They're very creamy. They're not as thick as the other ones. Okay, let's do the blue. It's called Waterfall Blue. Wow, these are nice. Now, I've literally just opened the box. <laughs> I'm going to pop tabs off. And this is the first thing I do anytime I get a new paint. Is I will open them up. Get them ready for painting. Like this. And just go for it. Peony Pink. How about you put the lid back on first, Zoe? Okay. Hmm. Fun, 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 fun. Okay. Let's get a piece of paper. Knocking stuff over. You can see what it looks like straight out of the tube. Very, very thick. Okay. Yeah, definitely a heavy body. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start mixing this. Hi, Cindy! I got new paint! I got new paint! Yeah, this thing's stuck together. Okay, I put about 10 drops of that Joe Sonia because it is so 
Um, then we'll see how it does. Oh, it's okay. I'm wondering if it's a little too thick. It might be. It's peaking a little bit, and I don't want it to peak that much. I got a whole house to myself today. Hooray! I ate my breakfast so I won't get sick. Yeah, these are heavy body, definitely. Or maybe somewhere between medium and heavy. And I am using a slow medium to thin them down. Let me see if I can zoom this a little more. Now it looks like it's going to be okay. Ooh. Looks like I got the consistency just right. Yay! So excited. Quite a bit of paint in this one. So when we want to talk about paints and consistency and stuff, or do we want to just chit chat today? Okay, that one looks good. Oh gosh. So what happened was, when I found this, is July is apparently National Watercolor Month or something. Well, I don't do watercolor <laughs> because they don't dot well. And I saw a post from Arteza about their pastel watercolors, and I was like, oh gosh, those are beautiful. I wish you had them for acrylic. And they, we do! So I went in the website and ordered them. They were about $37 USD. So. I don't I got, think I got free shipping. Nice. Okay, that one looks good. These are pretty, aren't they? Gosh, they're beautiful. I love pastels. I love brights. The ones I got in my package of 36 are just a little too dark some, for dotting sometimes. Because some of them, like phthalo green or phthalo blue, will be really really dark to the point where they're almost black but when you brush it on the colors are beautiful so not all those colors are really designed to be used as dotting you know oh my gosh that is so pale 
Everybody put the tinfoil hats on. I am not being paid by Arteza to demonstrate this. I just love playing with new paint. That's just me. Oh my gosh. These are gorgeous. I'm going to have to give up buying craft paint altogether because these are so nice. You put very much in here on the cream. I'm really excited it came with the cream. I didn't even look. I just saw pastels. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to order those. Oh, pretty, 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 pretty. These are so beautiful. Ah, I'm getting it everywhere. Ah, look at that. That's pretty too. <laughs> okay, let's do the apricot. What is it called? Apricot orange. Now, I wish Arteza would make a flow medium. They don't have any. Normally, I use flow towel. <laughs> I'm beyond excited right now. Gosh, I can't wait to play with these. I think I'm going to do my usual swatch mandala. I just use every color in any order I feel like it. That works. Okay, last one is the tulip pink. Oh, wow. The peony pink is a little more blue, I guess you could say. Wow. That's pretty. I think I associate this color on the right more with like a carnation pink. And this is pink. It's going to make great Flower of mandalas, isn't it? Those colors. Oh my gosh. I'm in love already. Alrighty then. Yeah, everybody's at work right now, I'm sure. I hope you guys will watch this. If you're watching it later, let me know what you think of the paints. Okay, 
Whether or not you're going to go put on a tinfoil hat while you're watching it. If you are know, part of the joke is with Christina Lee. She, she's always getting us to buy stuff. New paints and stuff. I'm probably just as bad. Okay. I think I'm going to start cream on this. But let me put down a stencil of some kind. Oh, this is bigger than I thought it was. So, sorry, I need to find my pencil. I hit it for myself again. There it is. It's the same color. My pencil is the same color as my DIY, but it's probably the cleanest one of them all. Okay, let's see. I'm sure I have a stencil to fit this. I just don't know where it is right this minute. And I don't care to get up to do it. <laughs> I'm just really excited to have a day with nobody else here. I have time right now. I can play for a little bit. No, oh, this is an 8 inch. I thought I had an 8 inch stencil. You know I'm going to be playing with this stuff a bunch. I'm taking Josie's class on the timers, and I'm thinking I may just have to use some pastels. I bought myself a cork back ruler now. I took a few art classes. It's not perfect, but we're just doing a swatch my dollar, right? Okay, that's a start. That's really all I need. Some people like to have the circle draw. Okay, I'll, maybe I'll just go ahead and put the circles on there. I like using stencils because I have some trouble, sometimes I have trouble using the compass. But I'm learning how to use it better. This is just faster for me. So exciting. I love doing my swatch mandalas. Every paint. Make mark there. There's every paint I have in the box. And I'm going to use the compass a little bit. Anymore. I tend to skip them. It's so funny. Okay. And I have a couple of different compasses that I like to use. Uh, this one I'm using because I can put my own pencil in it.
Okay. That's what I'm running. I love those like, the teeny tiny dots and they weren't showing up. That's good enough for me. We're going to start with cream. Okay, let's see. I like to use, no, I don't know what it is. I like to use um, like a DIY 10 or 12 for my center dot. It's just one of those things. Everybody has different things. I have no idea what number 10 is. I have the dirtiest tools in history, so bear with me. I don't know what number 10 meant. There it is. Okay. I think I'm going to stop. I'm going to start with the cream. Make a nice pretty center dot there. And the dog hair has come out again. I wonder if this will be glossy like the other ones when I'm done with it. Maybe a little too thick because I'm getting a bit of a nipple on this. Couple more drops in there. And now we have a million air bubbles. Okay. Let's see how this one Okay, that's going to be a really puppy dog. <laughs> okay, let's see. What are we going to use next? I'm going to keep using the cream. I'm going to... There we go. Just a little bit too much in there. So I'm using Christine and Lee's number 5 tool. This isn't going to be a pretty one. <laughs> okay, so what should we do? Should we use like a blue now? Um, go up a size maybe. Let's see. Number four. I've got to scrape the old paint off just there. Like You know, time for a new paper towel. So I have to uh, put some water on my paper towel because when I do, do it dry, I tend to pull the uh, tips off. <laughs> I need to do it right out of there. Okay. And do every other one. Just a little too much paint on that one. Oh gosh. It's so creamy. That's the only word I can do to describe it. Okay, contrast for blue is an orange. 
So let's go with the orange. And the number two bar. Yes, maybe it looks too thick too. It's too thick that dry funny. Let's put a little more flour medium in this apricot. And if you're doing swishes, you definitely want your paint to be a little bit thinner. Because it makes the swishes easier. Okay, fun, fun, fun. Okay, after this complimentary to orange on this would probably be yellow. Move one on the other side, you know. Okay, let's get out DIY tools now because we're getting bigger. Number six. Let's see how these look. This is probably too thick. It's normal. It's okay. You, you, have, you don't get it perfect the right, perfectly, you know, done the first time. We are humans. We are created perfectly imperfect. That was a nine anyway. I want six. Five, six. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm curious to see how opaque the yellow is once it's dry. <coughs> yeah, I'm knocking shit over again. Wow, it's kind of hard to see today.
Here we go. I thought it would be better. At least a little bit. Okay. Now you can see the colors. So, the opposite end of yellow is purple. Let's see, I'm going to use eight. I'm just going to make a nice little Fibonacci spiral here. You know, I'm looking at them like, hmm, maybe these are just a little too light. Let's see what they look like when they dry, though. Because I think the general rule of thumb is that your paint will get about two times darker when they dry. Okay, let's do number two. Um, let's do the um, uh, what is it called? Tulip pink. It's maybe too. Well, these are definitely going to be good for top top. Wow. I love, love, love these colors. Okay, opposite of pink is green. Okay, so I'm going to use number the colors. So light, you can't really see them. Okay, last one is the uh, what is it called? Peony pink. Okay, let's look at that key. No, no, well, 13, 14, that's 17, 18. Yes, I'm talking to myself, I'm sorry. Okay. 
hold them up and really look at them. Okay, so when I will do the penny pink. So pretty, so pretty. These are going to be great in the springtime, aren't they? When everybody's doing their spring and Easter. Yes. So nice. I love these colors. I just wish I could get my phone and cooperate. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to put a little more. I'll use some cream again. Over the green. They look like sweet tarts, don't they? That's what they look like, yeah. Sweet tarts.
you might have to do something different with this one. Now I'm going to put down the green. I'm really liking the paint. And some yellow. I'm definitely going to put some glass medium in these. here and there.
you're starting to darken up considerably. That yellow is very opaque and nice. It's hard to find a good yellow. These are just the right consistency. They're just way so nice. Isn't that lovely when you find a paint you like? Have a bit of a gap there. It's perfectly imperfect. But I am on doing it kind of fast. Now there's bound to be mistakes. Let me try some. I'm gonna need to make more though. I think I'm going to use the pinks, the two pinks and the purple. But I need more tulip pink and it needs to be a little thinner. So I can do some swishes. I'm going to use my brush all on this. Actually, I like to draw better than the Judge Sonia. Okay. I'm mixing up my paint. I think this will be right. This is... I don't know, is there something about the two pen? The... These are so different from what I normally use. So different. Let's see. Six... No, that's ten. Nine... Eight, five, six. Okay. I like to use a blunt end when I do my swishes, which is the number three tool on Christina Lee's tools. This is why I like to do uh, Christina Lee's tool. I like to use her number three. The no ball tool. Some people like to use more of a pointed tool. I feel like I have better control with the Justina's tool than I do with my micro daughter, which is actually just a clay tool. that toward myself. I think 
I did about five layers of paint on there. I feel like I'm dipping my 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 tools into whipped cream. It's so funny. They're so light. I'm just wiping this paint off on my on my back of my hand. This <laughs> is easier. It'll just wash off. Oh, you know, now I'm thinking about it. I probably should have done the apricot right here. Ding dong me. Next time. So, so pretty. I love these colors. I know, just got a thing about pastels. Normally when I'm painting and not doing a live, I like to watch TV. While I paint. If I watch TV laying down, I fall asleep. <laughs> Maybe it's just me getting old. <laughs> I'm gonna be 55 in August. Yeah, I admitted it. I'm hitting the big five five.
nice, nice, nice. I like it. I do. I like it quite a bit. I am kicking myself for not using apricot. <laughs> What the heck? Let's use apricot on the other side. Let's see how it works. Okay, that up. That up. Good. Yes, I think so too, Cindy. It's a. Uh, how you doing? Um, the cheese pastels. Sorry, um. I can't keep my thoughts straight today. It's National Watercolor Month. And Arteza posted on their Facebook. I, I guess it was an ad. But uh, they posted on their Facebook that they have these beautiful pastel watercolors. I'm like, oh my gosh. I need those in acrylics. I paint with acrylics. And they message me, actually message me to tell me that they have them in a, these in acrylics. And so I paid the $35 to buy them. Oh, I think these are just a little too thick. I need to thin down the apricot. I couldn't believe they messaged me. That was the number one thing. You might just have to start buying these. I feel like I'm advancing beyond, you know, the beginner, more of an intermediate painter now. No expert like Christina. I'm glad to hear that, Cindy. Is it hot as balls where you live? This Oklahoma is just insane right now. So check this morning, I walked outside the house, I was like, holy crap, what happened here? It is, I am just dripping sweat. And we have 96% humidity today. And this is normal for Oklahoma, unfortunately. You heard stories about the dust bowl, I'm sure. Back in the 30s. Well, to combat that, Oklahoma built a ton of lake. Oh, no, my sugars are not in better numbers. But that's my own fault, because I like to eat carbs. I did 337 yesterday after I ate lunch. And half a cronut. So... Yesterday, I did a lot, last, after that, I did a lot better with my eating. I think my biggest challenge with my diabetes is I am so freaking hungry all the time. I mean, an hour after dinner, I'm just starving, even if I drink a full glass of water after it. And the doctor told me that is, that is part of diabetes. The headaches are from being dehydrated, but not because I'm not drinking enough water, but because my sugars are so high. I'm a type 2. I, you know, I didn't eat sweet growing up, so I don't know where this is coming from. I used, my biggest issue was drinking pop all the time. 
that I have switched to diet completely. I don't drink coffee. I told my daughter, I don't really have that many vices. I like my pop. I like to bake. And that's about it. And she goes, no, you like sweets. Yeah, I guess you could consider that. Another vice. I do have insulin though. If I, it's long acting. So I did check my blood sugar in the morning. If I remember. Before I eat. And then if they're above 160. Then I start taking some long acting insulin. But I am pretty, pretty good today. I love the color. Love these. I am really, really liking this. You know, I found out the other day that the kids actually start my grandkids go back to school on August the 12th. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Well, my understanding is that at least they have air conditioning there. We never, I don't know, I don't remember using air conditioning. We always have fans running and the windows open. I don't have really have windows in the schools anymore, I don't think. Say so going to school, my grandkids going to school is so different from me. I mean, we didn't have a mass, mass pandemic or anything. I had to wear masks to school. Can you imagine if COVID happened back in the 70s? <laughs> ah, I like it. How about some purple? No, okay. I tried putting just onion in this at first. Uh, I don't really like their flow medium. I like flow trough. So it's cheaper by far. But I am enjoying playing with the liquid chest glass medium. That's pretty cool. I think I'm gonna put some of these paints and decorate that. Um, it's a cream colored mug. Oh, that would look so pretty on that. These are much, much better than the color shift passed out. So much better. Let's see what we got. 13, 14. I want to do a big one in there. Okay, I still too. These a little bit more. Ooh. Did anybody go in and watch the other dot artist 
on Instagram. And I'm just like, how do you record this stuff? Do you have help or something? Do you wear a GoPro on your head? Do I need to get a GoPro to make better videos? I can't really afford to at this point. Okay, that was a big one. Bubble, bubble. Let's see. We'll just do that. I like to call that the balloon swish. Because <laughs> it looks like a balloon at the end of the string. You know, I find odd uh, about my diabetes is I've never really known that much about it. You know, and my aunt on my mother's side told me in the last year or so that my grandfather on my father's side was diabetic. And I never knew. The family just never talked. I probably talk a little too much, but Yeah, my spacing is atrocious today. a little lunch by painting right now. No, I don't work. So this is not my lunch break. These are going to be such fun colors to play with. So you've ever seen people like, they'll paint swatches like on popsicle sticks or something. You see what they're going to look like? Nah, I just start painting. 
my paint swatch mandala. Anything goes. We're just learning the colors, learning their personality of the paint. Not that bad. Draw the color of gorgeous. I'm so happy I bought these. Yes. So, let me know what you guys think of these. Yeah. Real pretty. They're still too wet to put any top dots on, but I'll probably put a few top dots on the cream. So, okay. Finally got an off white. I love it. So, I can't stop staring at them. They're so pretty. I have to post something to our for our teeth and say, these are gorgeous. They're perfect. Send me some free shit. <laughs> Why? When I know I'm willing to pay for it. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I had a blast painting for you. And I hope you will. I need to figure out what day I can do it. I'm going to finish painting my butterfly. And I got started. So I mentioned a monarch butterfly. So I painted one and I used Arteza paints for this. So, I was just still working on one. I just wanted to finish one of my accidentally started two. So, except, except this is not Arteza. This is called Soho Urban Artist. Um, compared to this, I like the way it's showing up. Then, let's see. I think then my little gecko man is finished. JT Gecko. His name is JT because JT stands for Jim T. I painted him and basically Juneteenth colors and uh, Jamaica, reggae, anyway, um, a little bit brown, make him look like a real gecko, but it's kind of the African tribal art feel to it, he's got red feet, because he's fancy, so, and the funniest thing is, we found a little baby gecko in the house the other day. I accidentally cut his tail off, so I didn't mean to. It just fell right off. So, anyway, JT Gecko is going to be donated, uh, given away to uh, part of a prize drawing um, to anybody that donates $10 or more to Mustafa Arts to help him purchase, build his house and buy land. Christina Lee put together the fundraiser and she um, 
She has raised almost seven thousand dollars so far. And originally it was gonna be ten thousand dollars, but now we've upped it to fifteen to make sure he can buy what he needs to build his house. So his family doesn't have to live in a piece of crap shed anymore. That's basically what they live in. They don't even have a kitchen. I can't imagine that. Anyway, that's JT Gecko. And I'm going to give him away to anyone that donates $10 or more to the GoFundMe Christina set up. And I will be sure to post a link to that again. Check me out at perfectlyimperfectdotting.com. And I am slowly loading up my um, online store. Still trying to figure out pricing and, you know, shipping and stuff like that. I'm more than willing to ship it internationally. I can fill out the paperwork, no problem. But um, it's expensive. Everything's expensive these days. Okay. Well, thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a great... Well, that, that David shows up. So I've just been paying for an hour and a half already. Now you show up. Dude. Okay, so JT is going to be a giveaway. He's going to find his forever home. So anybody that donates $10 or more to um, Mustafa's fundraiser to Christina Lee, and it, but if you post it anonymous, I can't give it to you. So don't post it anonymous. All right, you guys have a great afternoon, evening, whatever it is in your time. And uh, I will see you soon. Finish that monarch butterfly. Bye-bye.